Hello. So, last time you heard from me, most recently, this is not including the uh, edited content, because that's old. That's obviously like half that stuff was recorded, you know, actually, all of it was recorded last year. Everything that you've seen that has been edited on this channel since the start of 2024 has been edited. This is a great start to this video. Um, last time you saw me was in the uh, stream on Friday. And, um, wow. 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 What? Mm -hmm. It's been a bad time. It's been a generally not good time to be a part of my life. <laughs> um, so, as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell or not, I can hear it because I'm congested, but I don't sound so good. Um, the reason for this is unknown. In all likelihood, um, so let's just start from the beginning. So, on Sunday, I worked at 7 until 3. Crazy, I know, that never happens. I never work Sunday mornings. And my mom was like, hey, yo, let's go to the Mean Girls 2 movie. And I'm like, that's going to suck. And she's like, yeah, it is. Like, come on. I'm like, of course I want to go with you to the Mean Girls 2 movie. Or whatever it is. The Mean Girls reboot musical edition. Whatever the fuck it is. We went to the movie. It was fine. I laughed maybe once. <laughs> I laughed maybe once. Which is more than I expected going into it. So, you know, take what you can get. Take what you can get. Um... And during the, the screening of this film, you see, we went at the 4 p.m. showing because I thought that I was going to have to go to a condo association meeting at 2 p.m. that day. So I lined it up so that the person that was taking my sp spot at work would come in at... 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 at, 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 at at 1.30. 1.30 was the time. But then they canceled it five minutes before it was supposed to start. So I was like, all right, well, I guess I did need to wait. And so we went to the theater and halfway through the movie, the sickness hits me. It's like my, I could feel my face getting hotter. I thought it was just because I was dressed up in so many layers. Because, of course, it hasn't been above zero in over a week here, because North Dakota, um, record-breaking wind chills, literally record-breaking wind chills, the likes of which have never been seen in recorded history. Casual, that's, I call that Monday night. That's what I call, that's what I call historic record-breaking weather patterns. I feel like we've been saying that on the channel a lot lately. There's been a lot of seismic fucking events that have taken place around here. Well, it has not been above zero ambient temperature in over a week. The wind chill warning was supposed to expire Monday at noon. We are still in a wind chill advisory. So that's cool. It continues. It continues. Um... So, record-breaking wind chills. It's the coldest that it's been all in the last 365 days. Actually, you know what? If you're going by the uh, if you're going by the wind chill, it's colder than it's ever been in recorded history in North Dakota. But actually, that's only if you believe the wind chill metric, because if they use the old formula from before, like 2001 or whatever. It would have been like a negative 90 <coughs> wind chill. So who knows what the fucking temperature is. <coughs> All I know is that it's cold and I can't fucking talk. <coughs> I promise I'm not contagious. Um, Actually, I can't promise that. I don't know. I don't know. I could have affected everyone I interacted with work today. You live and you learn. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, it's cold as all ever love a goddamn fucking shit. It's just miserable at all times. 
And you know what happens? Do you fucking viewers at home know what happens when it gets cold? We get colds. Apparently. I don't know. Um, everyone at work's been sick for the last month. It's just a fucking cycle, basically. It's just a cycle. Someone gets sick, they go out for a week, they come back. Someone else is sick, they go out for a week and then come back. And then the first person's sick again. And it's just an endless fucking cycle where there's not enough people to work and not enough people to cover the fucking holes in the shift. And I was one of them. I was one of them. Me. Old Kamikaze Games. Um, I was one of those people that got sick. Um, I knew I was sick on Sunday and I was like... Psh, it'll be fine. And I went to work on Monday at 7. I got my McDonald's breakfast. It was really fucking good because they gave me three packs of butter and it was so fucking good. Oh my god, dude. Look, this is a life hack. This is a life hack from me to you right here. You're not going to hear this anywhere else. If you're... Hot cake butter comes frozen because they're too lazy to take it out before the place opens and let it thaw out, you know. Scoop it out with a knife and put it underneath of the hot cakes. Not underneath them all so that it's touching, you know, the plastic bottom. No, put like one pancake, then stick the butter. Stick the butter in between them cheeks of the pancakes. <laughs> <coughs> God, that's attractive, isn't it? That's just the most attractive thing a man can do. It'll melt the butter somewhat, and you can either leave it there, and there's a massive chunk of butter for you to come across while you're eating the pancakes, or you can take it out and spread it across the top, and it'll actually be, you know, melty, and you'll actually be able to spread it out somewhat. It's a life hack. Um, I was sick, <laughs> and everyone knew it, because my nose wouldn't stop running, and that's basically, you know, telltale sign. That's all it's done ever since fucking Sunday. Sunday night, I was stuffing shit up my nose trying to keep fucking satiated. Didn't matter. Didn't matter what I did. Didn't matter what I did. It was just, it's just forever. Forever an empty fucking draining faucet. You know, you're trying to find the... the a water valve to like turn off the entire water system just to satisfy this nonsense. And I felt horrible. My boss was like, do you want to leave? And I'm like, yes, but I can't. I need money. <laughs> so I stayed, which is against like the CDC guidelines. And at this point, I don't fucking care. The C CD CDC want to pay me? You want to pay me a couple of, uh, a couple of dubs an hour? To stay home? No, you don't want to... Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'm going to work. You cunts. Yeah, so I stayed at work. As long as I could. And I felt horrible. Just got awful. I used up basically all the tissues in the office. And, you know. And my boss was like, I think you have a sinus infection. It's like, okay... <laughs> How does this help me? Thanks for the update. And she's like, you can have some of these, you can have some of these prescription drugs. There's their antibiotics that are supposed to specifically go against sinus infections, because that's what I also have. And I'm like, no! I'm not taking your prescribed antibiotics! Are you insane? First of all, no, I'm not taking someone else's prescription. Second of all, no, you're supposed to take the entire prescription that your fucking doctor gives you. This is exactly how antibiotics are eventually going to become obsolete because of uh, infections and viruses are going to become immune to them because fucking people are taking them when they don't need to take them and aren't taking the entire dose and just stop when they feel better. No, you take the entire dose as prescribed by the fucking physician. You take it all, even when you feel better. And then when the fucking bottle's empty, you either go and get more if you're still sick, or throw it in the fucking garbage and thank medic medical science that you're not writhing on the ground in agony anymore. No, you don't just fucking take a couple fucking pills whenever you fucking feel like it. Over-the-counter medication is already bad. It's already horribly unregulated. 
That's an entirely different fucking video. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that I was so sick, and when I got home, I was playing fucking video games, and I was like, I, I was like shivering. I had fucking chills. I was so cold. I had an entire, I had my usual uh, turtleneck shirt on. I had my pants on, you know. I know it's highly unusual to see me in pants. It's a crazy sight. But I had pants on. I had socks on. Look at these socks. By the way, these are the best socks I've ever owned. I'm not going to talk about that. Otherwise, they're going to have another five-minute tangent. And I was having chills. So I was like, okay, guess I'm going to bed. I got in bed. And I lay on my back. And I'm like, this is fucking terrible. And it was like 8.30. And I barely slept at all. I slept horribly. I kept waking up over and over. Basically, the way that I could tell the time is how bright the window was. Like, if it was still, you know, dark and no light was coming through the window, I was like, okay, it's still night. I should still sleep. And I wake up again. Oh, it's still night. Ugh. And then eventually, like, the sun came out and it was like, okay, it's morning. Can I get up out of bed? Oh, I moved an inch and now I feel terrible again. Guess I'm going back to sleep. And repeat a couple more times. But yeah. Um, did I mention that they think it's influenza A? Because that's apparently going around. They, now they think it was influenza. First it was a sinus infection. And now it's influenza. And it's like, whatever the fuck it is, it fucked me up, dude. It fucked me up. I slept from 8.30 to 11 the first night. And then I got up. I DoorDash Taco Bell because I sure as fucking shit wasn't going to go outside. It didn't even taste that good. Then I went back to sleep at like 3. And I laid in bed and I was trying to sleep the whole time. And basically I was in bed until 5 a.m. the next day. Where I started feeling really fucking good. Like, actually, actually, I felt really fucking good. Maybe all I needed this entire time was just to sleep for once in my life. You know? The 40 hours of basically uninterrupted sleep. Oh, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. But, like, I was so fucked up, man. Like, I was having vertigo. Like, I could barely, like, move around without getting lightheaded. And I was, like, starting to be, like, nauseous in the stomach. Like, I was going to throw up. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck is going on, dude? And literally... All I did was take some vitamin C supplements and vitamin D supplements. And this is how I look after... It started on Sunday and it's now Thursday. And it's probably going to be fucking Friday by the time this video's finished. Um, <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad just to be like bedridden for several days straight. And then be up and at them again. <coughs> Going back to work. I probably could have worked yesterday. Because that was yesterday morning that I woke up at 5 and I was like, okay, this ain't so bad. I feel like shit, but like, at least I can fucking move. I took a shower the night before. You know, the first night when I had gotten off of work. I took a shower that night because I was so fucking cold. I figured the fastest way to warm me up is to take a, sh take a hot shower and then go to bed. It worked. It worked, by the way. I didn't even care that my hair was wet. My hair was drenched. The pillow was probably fucking like, probably has like, you know, swamp disease of some sort. I'm th thinking like trench foot, but like for your hair, you know, that's probably what happened to the pillow. And it's like, I didn't fucking care. I was warm. I was warm for the first time all day. It was very nice. Um, but yeah, so I didn't work yesterday. I probably could have recorded some shit yesterday. Come to think of it, but I didn't. And, you want to know something? Do you want to know something? When it's cold outside, when it's a historically fucking cold snap of pure Arctic air that has not let up for a week, you know what happens? Do you know what happens to the infrastructure? Bad things. Bad things happen to the infrastructure. The pipes burst at the hotel again. In case you didn't know, the hotel that I work at had the pipes burst on two occasions. Both of those times. It was a $200,000 insurance claim. And I couldn't be bothered to fucking fix it! Either of those times! It burst again! 
We did everything. We had fucking thermometers set up in the trouble spots. My maintenance man, who does not get paid nearly fucking enough, he should get paid twice of what he's getting paid, at least. He fucking did, he watched this shit around the clock. My man was doing meth to stay up, to be able to fucking monitor these fucking temperatures, dude. I'm almost kidding, by the way. You have to have, be on some sort of fucking, you know, unprescribed medication to be able to stay up all this time and keep monitoring these fucking spots. It didn't matter. Nothing we did mattered. Ultimately, it was a fucking pointless endeavor. It was completely pointless. Completely pointless. Everything that we did to monitor the fucking, the fucking cold and to ensure that the pipes didn't explode, it didn't matter. Ever since I've started working here. Three winters, isn't it? Yep, 22, 23, 24. Three winters where our only purpose as the front desk person in winter is to monitor these temperatures. We were. They were fine. It didn't matter. And now that's another $200 insurance claim. Man, I wonder why we don't get paid when we should get paid. Because these fucking inbred morons that built this fucking place didn't think, Oh, maybe we should do something about these pipes that are completely fucking exposed with absolutely no central air to fucking deal with it when it gets cold outside, which it does for the majority of the time in the state. I guess we'll just set this place up like it's a fucking California hotel. And it doesn't need that shit. I'm surprised there's heaters installed at all. That probably goes against the fucking green policy. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. It didn't matter. Nothing we did mattered. It's, it, they still destroyed the fucking lobby. And everyone that comes into the hotel is like, Oh, whoa, what happened here? Whoa. It's like, what the fuck do you think happened? Do you see the hole in the ceiling? Maybe it has something to do with the hole in the ceiling. What happened? What does it fucking look like? The ceiling exploded. What does it look like? <laughs> I hate people. I hate guests especially. Guests are the worst. The customer is always the worst part of the entire working experience. It really has to be said. They really are. But you see, that's the thing. That's the thing. I think back to when I was working on the restaurant side of the old hotel... I got more compliments working there than, than like a fucking couple of months that I did working anywhere else. Fucking guys would come up, an entire fucking table of like big burly fucking farmers would come up and go, Hey boy, that was a good burger you made. Oh, I made a lot of burgers in my time. I was a good son of a bitch right there. If you get a fat guy complimenting your food, man, that's a fuck, that's a fucking high praise right there. Gordon Ramsay himself could not have fucking impress me more, dude. Gordon Ramsay comes into the fucking restaurant and asks for a shepherd's pie. And I make him a fucking salad. And he's like, oh, this is just rubbish. Rubbish. Be like, I don't fucking give a shit, Gordon. These fucking fat farmers, they know what they're fucking talking. They know a fucking burger when they see one. You want to know how many compliments I've gotten as a fucking front del clerk? Front desk clerk? One. I got one person that came up to me and said, Hey, yo, I appreciate everything you do around here. Keep up the good work. It was something like that. That was exactly one time. Every other time someone comes up to the desk, it's the bitch about something. Oh. Oh, your TV doesn't work? Are you too stupid to realize you have to point it at the TV? Oh, it's like, oh, I mean, I guess, oh, here's the TV. Here's the TV. Here's the remote. I get to change the channel. I should point it in the opposite direction of the TV. Oh, why doesn't it work? Oh, this is so strange. Why doesn't it work? The TV is over there. And I'm pointing the remote over here. Why doesn't it work? Fucking stupid. And they're all entitled. They're all so fucking entitled. What is the point? I find myself asking. I find myself launching that query 
into the ether on a daily basis. Everything that I've worked for every winter for the past three years has been absolutely pointless because it was inevitably going to break in another fucking record-breaking fucking deep freeze. It, nothing we did mattered. We monitored this shit 24-7. It didn't matter. It, it, it did not matter. I don't feel fulfilled. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. But you see, the thing is, is that I still got a smile on my face. I still went into work in a very jovial fucking emotion, even though my fucking nose is still fucked up. Even though everything in the hotel is a complete fucking disaster. The front doors don't work. The pool dehumidifier got froze over because of the fucking record-breaking wind chills. And now the fucking lobby flooded. That's $200,000 that aren't going into the workers' paychecks now. Yeah, I'm still waiting on the raise, by the way, that I was promised. So am I still waiting for a reason to stop fucking dealing with this shit. Man... Why'd I choose this career? I didn't. I did not choose this career. I wanted to be Mike Joy. I wanted to take over for when Mike Joy retired. That's what I wanted to do. And you know, baby steps. I could at least get into television broadcasting. I could at least get into sports broadcasting. No. No, that didn't happen. Okay, well, what, what else do you like, Kamikaze? You you clearly have an interest in cars. You want to go build cars for a living? Nah. No, nah, I'll take the fucking mass communications degree. Here's $50,000 that I don't have. Here, here you go. D no, don't worry, I'll pay it off in about 15 years, give or take, if there's another furlough period. I've had this conversation with myself so many times and I keep coming back to the same place is that there was no avoiding this. This was inevitable. And yeah, so here I am. Uh, I was half dead on Tuesday. I literally slept so fucking long, you have no idea. I stayed in bed the entire day except for when I had Taco Bell. It was good. Well, actually, it wasn't that good. The, uh, it was dry. The regular, yeah, the chalupa taco was dry. The soft shells were just kind of, just had a gross overtone to them. Maybe that was the sickness that I was tasting. And the new chicken flatbread thing, chicken chipotle flatbread thing, it was the best part, but like not by much. It's still weird. I still don't like it. I still wish they still had the regular melt things. But what you gonna fucking do? So yeah. Everything's a disaster. <laughs> and I just wanna go to fucking sleep. But there's been a bunch of fucking prank calls lately. I'm so fucking sick and tired of these motherfuckers. They really have nothing better to do. I got prank called on my actual fucking phone. Right there. A couple of nights ago. Asking. This was before I got sick. Asking if I supported putting uh, fucking litter boxes in the, in the school classrooms. And I was like, no. No, I don't. And then the guy said, well, how do you think that we should accommodate the furry children? And I was like, well, can we put the litter boxes in the bathrooms? And then he was like, what do you think about adding, like, cat food and dog food to the, you know, menu at, at the school cafeteria? And I was like... I mean, it probably has a lot of protein, probably more protein than these fucking kids are getting now with their fucking bullshit food pyramid. Yeah, you ever go on a keto diet and then think about how your entire childhood you were told you should eat like an entire loaf of bread every day? It's like, damn, no wonder there's an obesity epidemic. Yeah, so that was a fun prank call. And then another prank call I got at work was some guy saying, uh, so we, I, I just hit your van. And I was like, oh, okay, where are you at? And then he didn't answer. <laughs> he was expecting a different fucking response. And then he hung up and I was like, okay. <laughs> so that's annoying. 
And, and by the way, it hasn't been above zero in over a week. Have I mentioned that yet? Yeah. My car's been doing great, though. Holy fucking shit, my car's been doing so good. Holy shit, my car's been killing it this winter. It hasn't been a bad winter by any stretch of the imagination, but, but, it has been doing a good job when there is, you know, shit present. Some nasty-ass shit present. And my lips, they look like I've got fucking lipstick on. Mm, 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 girl. It looks like I have lipstick on. If I had some eyeliner, I could make this as like a, you know, like a fucking... You could make a trans political statement. No, this is just how dry my lips are. Probably because probably I've been mouth breathing due to the fucking congestion up here. Like, God fucking damn, dude. Like, this is ridiculous. Uh, you know, I usually, like, push against the bridge of your nose because, like, it's a little bit loose for most people. Most people, it's a little loose and it could kind of shake that shit up. And then you throw your head back and you do that. And it looks like you're stupid when you're doing it, but it works. Trust me, it works. Oh, everything sucks, man. Like... I was so cold. Like, I thought when you get sick, you're supposed to get a fever. I got whatever the opposite of a fever is. Like, I was shaking. I was literally shaking. My teeth were literally chattering. I thought it was some sort of old cartoon trope. That your teeth chatter when you're cold. I thought that was just a cartoon thing. No. When you're actually that cold, your teeth do chatter uncontrollably. It's real fucked up, too. Especially if you put your tongue in between them, you bite the shit out of your tongue. Which did not happen. I'm shocked that did not happen at any point. Um. Yeah. But anyway, um, this video is just supposed to be an explanation of why I'm not streaming tomorrow. I absolutely planned on streaming tomorrow. That was the plan from the beginning. And now I work tomorrow. Because I did not work on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm still going to get all 40 hours this week. Despite probably having influenza A and being bedridden for like a full day. I'm still going to get my 40 hours, babe. You got to get them somehow. You got to grind that. Get on that fucking grind set, though. You got to get paid somehow. Yeah. And, like, even if I could stream, like, it's going to sound like this. I'm surprised I haven't coughed for a while, dude. Like, holy shit. I haven't coughed for so long. It's like a brand new mouth. I'm cured. I'm fucking cured. I'm going to go take some more vitamin D, I think. I'm going to go take some more vitamin D. That sounds like a good idea. I can show you. I went to Walmart this morning. Oh, my God. That's another thing I want to rant about before we leave here. That's another thing that I want to rant about. Shit. So here is the vitamin D that I take. It's so good, dude. Not only is it yummy, but it's very healthy. So here we go. We got the protective seal. This has now become a fucking vitamin supplement review. I should go to G and C. That's what I should do. So yeah, it's, it's little gummies. Cute little gummies. They're basically fruit snacks with benefit. Mmm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Toasty. Mm. Mm. Um, this is the other thing I want to show you. I got my snacks.com order in today. Hell yeah. Got some pretzels. Got some grandma's cookies. Got some spicy nacho Doritos. And I even got some cheddar jalapeno uh, Cheetos. Wild. Wild times, man. This is truly Americana at its finest. Um, ooh, it's dark and spooky. I wonder if an axe murderer is going to get me, or if uh, there's going to be a giant face that comes out of the abyss behind me. <gasps> Did you see that? You didn't, there, there was nothing for you to see. Unless there was something going, you know, fucked up on the screen, you know. It's just something weird going on with the resolution. That could happen. Could happen. Man, is it really that much to ask for for there to be bread at Walmart? I went to Walmart this morning. I'll admit, it was 9 a.m. 
So maybe the real workers hadn't shown up yet. But I went to the bread section looking for my keto buns, which they haven't had in months. The true keto buns. And they didn't have those. They didn't have the Sam's Choice keto buns. They didn't even have the shitty Browns Berry or whatever it's called ones. And they didn't even have the stupid fucking sandwich things that suck. But I'd buy them if there's no other option. They didn't have any of them. No keto bread whatsoever. So I'm just supposed to accept that I need to have all these shitty fucking carbs for no reason? I say as I show you my snacks.com order of pure carbs. <laughs> oh, it ain't a KG video without a little hypocrisy. Um, yeah, it, it's frustrating. I, I really don't know what it's so much to fucking ask for. To just have keto buns available for me to purchase. I would be happy to go out and purchase them. But they never have them. So I go all the way out to shitty ass Walmart... For one thing, and they don't have it. So I'm just standing there like, okay, now what the fuck do I do? What do I get now? I got all my other usual shit. And I had fucking chicken without the fucking bread. I had two chicken patties like I always do, but there were no fucking buns, so they weren't fucking sandwiches, were they? They weren't sandwiches. They were just fucking pieces of chicken in a circle shape with a fucking slice of cheese on top of it. That's a fucking meal. That's a meal. And it's just so much to ask for to just have fucking, you know, 75 calorie buns with two net carbs. It's so much to ask for for that, apparently. Because they never fucking have them there. So goddamn stupid. Spend all this time paying my fucking taxes. And what do I get? What do I get for paying my fucking taxes? Oh, I get sick with influenza A or a sinus infection or whatever the fuck I had. Number two, we get a broken ass fucking hotel where the doors can't be bothered to work. The pool can't be bothered to work. And the fucking ceiling can't be bothered to work. How about, how about, oh, 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 and number three. Number three, the best part of it all is that that's the number of degrees that it's not been in seven weeks. Seven weeks. Seven days. Seven days. Yeah. I wish the fucking gr I wish the fucking girl from the ring would come out and just fucking murder my ass so I don't have to fucking deal with this shit anymore. I feel like getting murdered. Be the closest that I've been to touching a human female in like fucking ever since high school. Actually, that's a lie. I had a girlfriend in college for two weeks. What a fucking disaster that was. Glad I avoided that situation. Oh, damn. Shouldn't say that. She she used to watch the channel. Ashley, I'm sorry. Don't take it personally. I'm a piece of shit. You, can't you tell? I'm a fucking asshole. Like, you should have seen that from the way that I strung you along before deciding, nah, I'm gay. <laughs> you should have fucking noticed that. You should have fucking noticed that. <laughs> yeah, I'm an asshole. I should make an entire video just recounting all the terrible shit that I've done over my life. <laughs> That'd be a long video. And most of it would take place in my childhood. That's the funniest part. I was a spawn of Satan, man. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. I am controlled by demons. But like even the demons are like, Jesus, the dude, the Christ. This, well, you see the shit that this guy has to deal with? Man, let's just give him a fucking break for a second. One day! One day, please and thank you. Chase Briscoe, Daytona 500 win, please. That is what I will take for the rest of this year to be uh, pure suffering. Which it's been since the drop of the green on the 1st of January. Actually, the first week went pretty smoothly. Bunch of deaths. Bunch of people that I know were sad. But hey, I was doing all right. And now my life is a disaster. And I still got to go to work tomorrow. Despite everything. Despite the entire hotel being in literal shambles. Literally falling apart at the scenes. I still got to go in. I still got to go in. And you know the most fucked up thing? The most fucked up thing. It's 34 minutes and 47 seconds into this video. And I haven't even gotten the most fucked up thing. I haven't even said that fucking sentence yet. I haven't even said the phrase. The most fucked up thing. You want to know what the most fucked up thing is? Look at this. Look at how fucked up my lips are. 
That's just me licking them over and over. Mm, lick them. I bet you um, there's a bunch of people out here that would love to lick these lips. <laughs> you know what the most fucked up thing is? Is that I realized something today. Actually, I realized this a while ago, but I didn't put it all together until just now. Um, everything, society is hanging on by a thread at all times. Society is all about trust. Do you trust that the person tailgating you is going to get on the brakes if something happens in front of you and you need to get on the brakes? Do you trust that the person or the institution that you're sending your child to Monday through Friday is not going to turn your child into a weapon of war? Or a um, gay person. I was going to say a uh, slur, but... I feel like even 36 minutes into this video, it would still get picked up in the algorithm. <laughs> School turned me gay. <laughs> you, no, okay, hang on. Let me go on a quick tangent before I forget this. There was a fucking trend going on on, like, conservative Twitter that was like, Oh, no one that was in school that was, you know, nobody that was feeling up their, uh, you know, there. I don't know how it was phrased. It's been so long, but like, no, no boy in school that was feeling up his fucking classmates were straight. Motherfucker, do you have you? Did you go to school? Did you go to school? The kids that acted the gayest in high school are the ones that went on to be like the first parents, like the most stable relation, the most stable heterosexual relationships out of anyone. Like, you literally, you could not go a single day in gym class without the fucking boys in the locker room filling each other up. It was like a national fucking pastime. It felt like a rite of passage. You had to get filled up in the locker room. Otherwise, you're not a fucking, you know, you haven't made it to high school yet. No one ever feel, actually, that's a lie. I was felt up in the locker room once. But like, you know... As an actual, like, as the, as the gay man in the building, I did, like, the least gay stuff <laughs> in high school. I tried all the time to downplay, to downplay it. I remember when one guy, he was a sophomore at the time, and he wanted to go to prom just to, you know, go to prom, even though prom sucks. <laughs> it was shit terrible. All the fun stuff on prom night happens away from prom. Like, just take it from me. This dude that was a sophomore wanted to go to uh, prom, but didn't have a date. And, like, he had an idea, like, Ayo, KG, I know you don't have a date yet. What if we, like, went to prom? And I was like, hell yeah, man, that sounds fucking funny. And, like, like this is exactly what I told him. If they say no... We could call up the gay pride people and they can have a parade here in support of us. That's not the in support of us part, I don't think, was part of that quote. But the rest of it was the quote. And he was like, ah, but there is one problem with that. Neither of us are gay. That's where you're wrong, my dude. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. I was a senior, too. So, like, I was full-fledged homosexual. Like, at least when I was a freshman, it was like kind of like, wait... Did I just have an intrusive thought about that dude's ass being fucking fine? We were way past that. Like, I was, like, actively trying to get my high school crush to love me at that point. It didn't work, by the way. It was a waste of eight years. Anyway. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. What were we talking about before I went on that tangent? Oh, yeah. Trust. Society is built entirely off trust. And if one person makes one mistake, everything falls apart. You see, if one person fails to let the front, let the rest of the fucking front desk crew know that someone is in a room and they don't put it in the system, they don't put the room out as dirty or out of service, they don't write anything down anywhere. If they fail to do that, uh-oh, did we get payment? Are they fucking, you know... Do we have a phone number? Do we have any contact information whatsoever? Are we going to send the housekeepers in there thinking it's a clean room and we're going to fucking get jump scared by some fucking dude in his underwear? You know? 
Is he going to be hiding drug paraphernalia in the room and we're going to have fun? no idea how it got in there, you know? There's so many problems that would arise from such a thing. It's like, you know. Yeah, so it's cool how society could collapse at any moment. And yet it doesn't. <laughs> to quote the great Todd Howard, it just works. Anyway, we've reached, we've somehow reached the 40 minute mark of this video and I forgot how long it takes before it starts a new video and I don't want to edit this. So I guess we're gonna end the video here. So if you want a summary of why I'm not streaming tomorrow, I got sick. That's the short answer. The long answer is rewatch the video and pay attention this time. Fucking zoomer ass, no attention span having motherfucker. Maybe I'll make this into a vertical cam vid and I'll post it as a short. There we go. There we go. That's an idea. Yeah, vertical cam video. Um, hi everyone. A bunch of shit went down the past four days. There will be no stream tomorrow. I'm sorry for any inconvenience, but you could still give me money if you show chips. Thanks. Bye. There's your fucking short. I'm not uploading that. I'm way too fucking tired. I'm going to bed. I have three unread Discord notifications. What are these Discord notifications? They are... JC! Imagine that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Um, this kiss is for JC specifically. And uh, the rest of you can have this kiss. Oh, damn. It was a violent kiss. Please don't sue. Bye.